Now in this lecture we will discuss a strength of H2O2 solution. Let us see a bottle of H2O2 solution and if you see here it is written 30 volume. So generally a strength of H2O2 solution is expressed in terms of volume. Sometime we will have 10 volume, sometime we will have 20 volume, sometime 30 volume or 40 volume. So this is the strength. Now this is a strength that is expressed in terms of volume is called volume strength. So a strength of H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide can be expressed in terms of percentage strength or in terms of volume strength. So we will discuss. So there are two ways to strength to basically write the concentration of H2O2. One is percentage strength. Another way to say the concentration that is called volume strength. So let us discuss one by one. So first is we will discuss percentage of strength. So if I say let us say 30 plus 34 percent H2O2 solution H2O2. So what is the meaning of 34 percent H2O2? This means if I take 100 ml and this is basically bet by volume. This is 34 by 100 that is 34 ml divided by 100 gram sorry this is 34 gram divided by 100 ml. This means if I take 100 ml of solution 100 ml of H2O2 solution H2O2 solution will have 34 gram of H2O2. So we can express this percentage strength in terms of molar RT also. Let us say if I say percentage strength is X percent H2O2 and my task is convert this into molar RT. So how we will do this one? So molarity, so this means x gram of H2O2, so we basically we have x gram of H2O2. So we can convert this into mole, so moles of H2O2, this will be weight by molecular weight, weight is x gram and molecular weight is 34. So this is the mole of H2O2. Now x percent, this means this is in 100 ml, so I can say 100 ml solution, 100 ml solution contains xy 34 mole. So how we define molarity that is in 1000 ml. So 1000 ml solution will contain xy 34 and this divided by 100 into 1000. So we will have this is your 5x by 17 m. So now have, if I know the percentage of strength, I can calculate molarity. So molarity is nothing but, so we will have molarity is equals to 5 by 17 times and this is x is what? x is your percentage of strength, x percentage. So x is basically x gram, in this basically this is x percentage of strength. So we have a relationship, if percentage of strength is given, we can calculate molarity multiplying by 5 by 17. Now next thing we will discuss that is volume strength of H2O2, volume strength. And what is the meaning of volume strength? So to discuss this, first let us know H2O2 is a liquid, H2O2 solution is liquid. If you heat H2O2, it will dissociate and it will give you H2O plus half O2. Basically, this is a disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation. Disproportionation reaction. 
you can see you will have 2 H2O H2O2 and this will give you 2 H2O plus O2 so this is your decomposition of H2O2 now let us say what is the meaning of volume strength if I say 20 volume H2O2 this means if I take one volume of H2O2 it will liberate 20 volume of oxygen of O2 at STP so this is the meaning of 20 volume of H2O2 or we can say 1 liter of oxygen H2O2 1 liter of H2O2 will liberate 20 liter of O2 and this is at STP so this is the meaning of 20 volume now see this is always possible because H2O2 is liquid one volume can generate and now as O2 is gas so volume of gas is very high than volume of liquid so one volume can generate 20 volume this is not gas and that's why volume of O2 liberated is very high we can basically convert molarity into volume strength so let us find a relationship between molarity of H2O2 solution H2O solution so we are finding a relation between molarity so this is a relation between between molarity of H2O2 solution and its volume strength and its volume strength so let us say molarity of is given so molarity of H2O2 solution is M so M is the molarity if M is the molarity what is the meaning so molarity is M if I say molarity is equals to M this means M moles of solute M moles of solute in 1 liter of H2O2 in 1 liter solution of solution of H2O2 so this is the meaning of M molarity now we write the balanced chemical equation so H2O2 plus and this gives you half O2 plus H2O if we balance we can write 2 H2O2 and this will give you 2 H2O plus O2 now I have a solution of 1 liter so this is your liquid now molarity is M this means solute that is H2O2 so I have M moles of H2O2 M moles of H2O2 now if you see we can write the same reaction again 2H2O plus O2 if you see one mole of H2O2 will liberate 22.4 liter of O2 at STP or we can say what is the number of moles of O2 that is liberated by M moles so one mole liberates 22.4 liter so M will so one mole liberates okay uh, this is basically two moles you see this coefficient here two mole liberates one mole of O2 so I can write here I cannot write one this is basically two so two mole of H2O2 liberates 1 mole of O2 that is 22.4 liter so 1 mole will liberate 1 mole of H2O2 will liberate 11.2 liter at STP now in 1 liter I have M moles so in 1 liter solution I will have M moles so M mole will liberate 11.2 into M liter of O2 at STP 
and now this is the volume of strength number of volume liberated at stp of o2 by 1 liter solution this is m moles in 1 liter solution so this means if i take 1 liter solution the volume of o2 liberated is this so volume of li volume of o2 so now i can write volume of o2 liberated at stp by m moles by m moles of h2o2 and this is equals to 11.2 into m liter and our volume of o2 liberated at stp by 1 liter solution the m moles of h2o2 and this is basically in 1 liter solution because we have m moles in 1 liter solution so volume of o2 liberated at stp by 1 liter solution this is defined as volume of strength so now we can write volume of strength is equals to 11.2 into molarity so this is the relationship between volume of strength and molarity we can also convert a relationship between volume of strength and normality so we will have a volume of strength and normality and this is again easy to find what is normality normality is molarity into n factor now in this reaction this is a disproportionation reaction of h2o2 and this reaction n factor is 2 and this can be discussed sometime later so n factor of h2o2 and disproportionate in this reaction in this reaction is 2 is 2 so we can write normality is equals to molarity into so from here we can write molarity is equals to n divided by 2 now if we plug this value of molarity in this equation so we will have volume of strength is equals to 11.2 multiplied by the molarity and molarity is nothing but normality by 2 so this is 5.6 so we will have volume of strength and this is equals to 5.6 multiplied by the normality so we have a relationship between volume of strength and normality so this 2 is basically so this is the 2 so volume of strength and normality so this is the relationship we can also define a relationship between percentage of strength of h2o2 that is percentage of strength and volume of strength so we can directly define a relationship between volume of strength and percentage of strength and this is easy to define if you see this volume of strength that is 11 so we have a relationship that is volume of strength is equals to 11.2 times molarity we also have another relationship that is molarity is equals to 5 by 17 into percentage of strength so molarity is equals to 5 by 17 times percentage so from here we can directly define a relationship if i plug this value of molarity in equation 1 so from 2 and 1 we can directly write volume of strength this is equals to 11.2 multiplied by molarity and molarity is nothing but 5 by 17 into percentage so we have this relationship between volume of strength and percentage of strength so when i say percentage this means percentage of strength so there is a direct relationship between volume of strength and percentage there is no need to remember this formulas basically we have to always 
go from the first principle and one important point in this case that we have to remember that n factor of H2O2 that is n factor of H2O2 in this case is 2 that is the disproportionation reaction n factor always remains equals to 2.